they had a lot of committee meetings mm -hmm. in order like to get uh, community action started and uh, mm -hmm. the committee meetings and speaking with the uh, city people um, just a lot of meetings to, to get things off the ground and let them know we needed it in our community uh, she was also one of the first people there was there was uh, three of them mm -hmm. that got the Thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. community started actually the figure is uh, very unique okay uh, we didn't really have a whole lot of problems mm -hmm. uh, with the police, and usually you got stop by the police. It's usually a black policeman, mm -hmm. and they were sometimes a little, well, a, li a little loud, or let's put it like that, and okay. uh, kept you on the up up because they knew your parents. Mm -hmm. So uh, you knew that you didn't have to worry about telling your parents because they was gonna tell them before you could, you could even get home. Mm -hmm. So if you was, you know, young and had a car, still in school, and they stopped you, and they would call and say, a, they have a bunch of kids in the car, and they were riding around, playing around, and uh, we had to stop them. And then, so, it wasn't anything nice. City Park, there was a lot of uh, baseball games and there was a lot of community, uh, a lot of people went to City Park. Mm -hmm. And so you know that you saw a lot of your friends and it, it was like a big community outing. Mm -hmm. And you played, you watched them play ball, but a lot of it was just talking and mm -hmm. interacting and uh, usually, you had a family member that played on the t on the teens, and uh, it was just a great outing for the whole family. I was pretty young because when Fourth uh, Street, I didn't get to really experience it, but my brother-in-law and sister, we always went up to the prize package. Prize package at that time was on Fourth Street mm -hmm. in a little small building, and we would park and eat and watch the people. People. And my uncle had a few businesses down there. He had a restaurant. He, he had a liquor store. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, the, his car lot wasn't down there, but it was not very far from there. Oh, okay. so, so, so several black businesses. Uh huh. Um, not um, that's just just one person, but. You know, so was the whole street filled? Filled. I mean, there was people everywhere because there was a lot of businesses there. Mm -hmm. You know, you had your doctors, your dentists, the movies. Right. Uh, I never got to experience the movies. Uh, and I think basically, I think there was a couple clubs up that way too. And that's basically why we, you know, it was more of adult area <laughs> yeah but it's it was always looking to see what the you know we were just eating having fun amongst our own selves we didn't really know about Fourth Street but we knew there was a lot of black people there okay yeah and they was all dressed up what what did you do for your social area after that now okay that city park is gone for Street okay is gone. at that time I was still pretty young yeah so I wasn't a teenager yet oh okay I'm sorry uh-huh uh -huh. so I was it was still this plan uh, Back, you know, your, your parents didn't, they trusted you. Mm -hmm. So they didn't really sit there and say, stay in the yard or whatever, because we was all over. I was all over the neighborhood, cross town, and, uh, but there was always a group of us. And uh, <laughs> we went through the drainage, <laughs> believe it or not, there's a drainage uh, tunnel at the Topeka Cemetery, and you can go clear across town to Starmontville. Well, that's where you can end up at. Really? <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. We were adventurous. Uh, yes, we were. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, there was quite a few of us, and we just, uh, we really just, 
kind of uh, learned our way around town, actually. Uh, you know, we go and get us, there's a lot of apple trees and grapes and stuff. And uh, so we, it, we didn't think about lunch because there's always something to snack on. And he was playing and pff, we didn't, you know, we didn't get in trouble because we really wasn't doing anything that was wrong. We was just playing around. Right. And we had the ball teams and um, football teams and uh, we just played, we just played. And we had a few whites in our neighborhood and uh, everybody got along, Mexicans. Mm -hmm. We all got along so we didn't have any problems at, you know. The only problem that we had <laughs> with growing up was we had a white neighbor that lived next door to us, and they had uh, uh, he fixed on cars. I don't even call it the auto mechanic shop. He fixed on cars, and they were very prejudiced. So if you lost the ball over in that yard, that ball is gone. <laughs> They didn't want you to play in the alley because at that time there was a lot of alleys. I lived over there on 10th Street, East okay. 10th, okay. actually across from East Topeka Junior High. Mm -hmm. that only the park separated us. Uh -huh. So I lived on a main street. Actually, we had some pretty nice teachers over there at Junior High, East Topeka. Uh, I remember one black teacher, boy. She was pretty hard on you, and she'd just pull you to a side and say, I know you can do better than this. You just need to study a little harder. Now, I was, I figured I was doing okay because I was getting B's in her class. Uh -huh. And she said, you need to try a little harder because you, can, you, can, you know how to do it. Just do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even the, uh, some of the whites were encouraging, too, because mm -hmm. uh, they used to be pretty good in math. and. Uh, you know, I went through the algebra and all that stuff, and it was fairly easy, so it was like, okay, you know, there's no problem until I thought I was grown. And uh, at the end of junior high, and then I went into high school and mm -hmm. got pregnant. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, so, yeah. So you, you switched tracks from high school to, to GED then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And at the time they home studied you, then the teacher would come to your house. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, it wasn't bad so that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it was a one-on-one, -on -one, so yeah. it, was, it was pretty good. Yeah.